Welcome back everybody. Driver53 here with another short video on precision farming for Farming Simulator 19. And what I've got today is another test of a certain crop and which soil type is its does it produce best in. Now we think that it's going to be loam at 125 and we're also going to be looking at the nitrogen levels that it's going to take um, the first time or whenever you plant it. What are the optimum target levels for your pH? Um, for your nitrogen, how much reduction you're going to get at harvest, and then how much is going to be left in the ground. So all of those things is what we're going to look at today. Um, if you haven't checked out the other first one that I did on wheat, that has a lot more of the detail into how I set up this test. Um, but let me just show you real quick what we've got. Uh, we've got all of our oats planted here in the ground, and when I come to precision farming, you can see all the different soil types. Now, like I said, what we're going to be looking at is pH levels. And we're going to be looking, well, let me actually, let me go to pH. You can see all the pH levels that we have right here. They are all optimal to what they should be. Um, a little bit later, we're going to throw a slide up that's going to show that maybe, or we might have it referenced in the first one. Um, so this is where we're at. So what we need to do now is go ahead and jump into a timeline, or not a timeline, sheet up time right here to 120. We're going to get these crops growing. Once they're ready to harvest, we will come back harvest them and I'll be showing you guys what the results are it's time to harvest all right let's get this thing fired up so we're gonna go ahead and drop it down and do this now what we're looking for is we should be able to see once this is done that this section right here is gonna be at 80% on yield um, it's it's not a very good quality soil let's just put it that way and then this one here should be at um, 100% and then this next one over here should be at 125% and then our last one over here should be at 90 that is what we expect. Let's see if that happens here using oats as our crop for this test. All right, we are coming up. And the reason I did that is just so you guys uh, would know that there's no trickery or anything like that going on. All right, so let's take a look here. So this is our map. You, as you can see, we had oats in the ground. So let's jump over to precision farming. And these are our soil types again. So let's go ahead and look at our yield really quickly. Yep, once again. So 125%, 100%, 90%, 80%. So everything is right where we predicted what the data is showing. So the next thing I want to do now is jump over to pH. And as you can see, it did drop down a bit. So 6.75 is loam, and you can see that it dropped down to 6.5, and the 6.5 dropped down to 6.25, and the 7 dropped down to point or 6.75, and the six jumped to 5.75. So doing exactly what it should have done also in this test. So let's look at the next one. Nitrogen, wow. So let's go ahead and knock off zero, 20, and 40. Now this is our 60 once again. So it's really interesting that on this, it's very similar to barley, very. On the, well, the end result is exactly the same. So what we started with on loam was 140, and then we had 100, 180. All right, so loam was 140, 140, sandy loam was 100, silty clay was 100, and loamy sand was 80. So the really, really interesting thing here is that man everything ended at 60 so you only had 80 
taken out of loam? No, no, no. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. 80 taken out of loam. And you had 40 taken out of sandy loam and silty clay. And you had 20 taken out of loamy sand. That's really interesting. So let me go ahead and throw up these slides here. Like I said, this is what our starting was. This is the target nitrogen level for oats. And loam was at 140. Sandy loam was 100. Silty clay, 100. And loamy sand, 80. So on our nitrogen reduction at harvest. So this is the really interesting one is that we only had 80 taken out for loam or 80 removed from loam. Sandy loam, we had 40. Silty clay, we had 40. And loamy sand, we only had 20. Now this last one, the nitrogen after harvest oats, this is what you're left with in the ground. And this is 60 all the way across the board. So really, really interesting once again so i don't know it's it's just the numbers aren't really stacking up to what i saw before and like i said it could just be this field um it could be that this field had some stuff in it to begin with that was throwing it high um but i don't think that would matter because i'm now bringing it up to what it should be right we're, we're increasing it above i was never way too high i've always been right on um, and the reason I say that is because if you look at everything else that's around, it started at 20 and 40. It started lower than where we are now. So, I don't know, y'all. This is just really, really interesting tests. So, that's going to be it for the oats. Um, if you learned something here today or enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to check out my other content or just to be updated on future content here from Precision Farming, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, you know, if you do hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the notification bell also, because I am going to be releasing multiple videos a day and you want to make sure that you are notified whenever those come out. Um, I don't have specific set times. It's more just whenever I kind of get done with the test, I want to get it out to you guys as quickly as possible. I appreciate you stopping in, checking this out. Have a great day. And until next time. This is Driver 53, signing off.